Hi everyone, welcome to Thom Tech Tutorials. I am Thomas and this is fifth session of Azure Data Factory Tutorial 1. So in this session I am going to cover what is Azure Data Lake and its provisioning. So let's begin. So what is Azure Data Lake? So Azure Data Lake is a scalable data storage and analytics service. It's like similar to other storage but the thing is it is like hosted in Azure and it's very cheap and economical for the organizations and companies to use it. And it is really scalable fully managed and elastic so we don't have to worry about any type of manageability of the data lake so with that it helps the organizations to keep their data in different tires based on the requirement of the data and file so we have two tires two to three tires that we can use for lakes that is cool hot and archive so hot means like if you're using a file or a blob very frequently we will keep that access tire as hot and the cost of that will be the highest and then we have cool so that means the files which are very old and we are not frequently using it we will keep that in access tire of cool and the cost will be comparatively very less so that's it about uh, Azure Data Lake now let's move on with the provisioning of Azure Data Lake so let me open the Azure portal this is my Azure portal home page let me click on the storage account so we can click over here or we can search in the search bar as well so we'll find that storage account or we can simply type it that is storage account just click on this so once you click it if there is already any storage account created uh, then it will show up here but right now as you see we do not have any storage account let's click on create new one okay so automatically it has taken my subscription and my resource group that was created under free trial subscription and then it's asking for the storage name what is the storage name that we want to give so we'll go to our cheat book let's go to the cheat book copy this go and paste it here okay and the region I am selecting the same one so it is not mandatory that the resource group which is created in a East region and resource has to be created in the same region so resource group can be created in a different region and the underneath resource can be created in a different region there is no hard and fast rule for that so with that performance I will be selecting the standard one redundancy there are different redundancy geo redundancy and it is used for disaster recovery and failover capabilities because due to some uh, like any disaster natural calamities and all those type of things so we have different options for that so for the demo purpose let's select the cheapest one locally redundant storage and then click next so over here you can see these are the default values we don't have to worry about this and over here you have access tires as I explained in the demo hot and cool so hot indicators like uh, uh, our access tire for a particular blob is hot so that means it is very frequently accessed and uh, it will be at a high availability so that wise the cost will be high cool one is like uh, not very frequently used so we'll change the access tire of those files to cool so in this case we don't have to worry about it we are not bothered about the very high availability of those files and yeah that's it so let's move to the next one and these are like default values let's not make any changes so enable soft deletes for this soft deletes can recover so this is like recovery days that we can provide like based on our requirements seven days recovery files then click on next here we can provide the tax tax is just for like understanding purpose for what purpose or for which environment we are using this so those type of informations can be provided over here click next trial so we can verify it is doing a final validations to ensure all the values fed is right and now let's click on create so now we have selected the create button and it is just initializing the request and now submitting the request to Azure and it will start its deployment and it might take like a 30 seconds to 2 minutes so let's wait meantime let's uh, go to the home page and see if that is getting created or not and this is the home page where we have this bell icon so let's click on this bell icon and you will see the recent activity what has happened to our Microsoft account so you can see uh, initially like 14,000 credit was uh, created to my account because I opted for a free trial since it's my new Microsoft account account so once this is exhausted and if anybody wants to like uh, continue with the development and this Azure account definitely 
they can click and they can move on with pay as you go model that means like whatever you are using whatever resources you are using based on that you will be built and you will be built into the same credit card or debit card card which you have given initially like when you registered for a free trial so that's it now let's go to the resource it's completed let's click on go to resource and this is your Azure Data Lake Gen 2 okay so you can see this is your region this is a subscription subscription ID and all those type of details will be provided over here then we have activity log if you want to look out for an activity log then we have access control so access control we have already seen it will help the organizations to keep a limited access to a resource if they have any any sort of like uh, limitations like that so if your role assignments you can search for uh, some users and add the roles to it and then we have if you have any available roles it will show up see these are the available roles and uh, this can be like a, a tagged with a username if required go to the classic administrator you can see this is my account that I have created so I have service administrator principles but in reality we might not get this privileges so it might be a contributor role that we will be getting and in some cases we might not be able to even create the resources through portal and we have to like opt uh, different methodologies for that like powershell scripts and all those type of things so guys that's it for this session i believe like uh, you guys are uh, good with azure data lake and the next session i will be covering more about uh, azure data lake in depth with respect to containers and how we can organize our uh, folders so as to start a project so that's it guys and uh, please guys do like and subscribe my channel to motivate me okay and have a great day ahead thank you